Hey, 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 what's going on, guys? All Classic Gaming here, and welcome to a brand new unboxing video. This time we have something special because it's gonna be one of those unboxing plus demonstration videos a bit. And the reason why we're gonna do it like this is because I want also to make a tutorial. So this is going to be a tutorial and unboxing at the same time. And I'm really excited to do it. And uh, let's just go straight into this and uh, see what do we have inside. This was a bit uh, tough uh, cardboard, but we got it out. And we can see that the seller invested a, a good amount of money for protection. And because we can see he really, really did not want this damaged. Let's see if he succeeded in this or not. Oh, I think he did. What do we have here? The Apprentice. This is not just any game. This is my second CDI game I own. I know, I know. Some might find it weird, CDI. But this is actually considered to be, even by some fans, uh, the best CDI game ever made. I'm not kidding. It's a very unique looking platformer um, and I, I just like the style and uh, well this is the first time I can see disc like this now I don't know you probably can't see it on on the camera but there is like a line here like it is like I don't know what, what was it used for but it's burned a bit unusual at least for me but um, yeah, because the other one I have is uh, Mario's Wacky Worlds uh, prototype, and uh, it's not burned like this. So I guess only like the fully published ones get. What do we also have here? The good old um, sliding manual, and we can also see a lot of good stuff. The design is... I like how colorful it is. I'm just gonna turn it around so I can read it. It is in in three languages. English, uh, Netherlands, and um, French. Oh, I just realized they said Netherlands because that's how it said that. Like, I was confused. I was expecting to be Dutch, but I know they also... The Netherlands is the name of country, but yeah, this is how they call the language in their own language because I see how French is written. It's a multi-language manual, standard one. They even did like a... Oh, the whole... the Every level has its own, like, uh, story. You can see this is pretty interesting how they did it. I, I don't know uh, other games who utilize something like that in manuals. Maybe they exist, but I just can't, uh, can't think of them right now. But yeah. And this is like the back. And now let's just slowly return it here. What I really like here is uh, you can see that the seller truly uh, tried his best to to keep um, to keep the game in good condition as much as possible. There we go. So. It even has like the official CDI disc. This is a PAL region because um, for some reason uh, an NTSC version is really really difficult to find. I don't think it was ever dumped online but um, even worse uh, for, is because uh, I read online that the, the two versions have completely different soundtrack to one another. And uh, I kind of wish uh, that I could get also um, the American copy so that I can do a 
comparison video, not even an uh, American soundtrack was ripped online. You cannot find almost nothing about the American release except for the cover, how it looks like. And I have seen, I, I've seen a photo of a physical copy, so I know that it was for a fact released and it even has like its own, but it's like one of the rarest games ever. <laughs> like the PAL one can be found a bit harder to find copy nowadays than than it was some time ago, but um, but yeah. Now we come to the best part. What if I told you that you can play this game on your PC uh, without using emulation at all? Yes, that is right. You can play this game on PC without emulators and uh, it's in Unity port. How this happened is uh, uh, a one uh, user, uh, you can find him on YouTube, he's called uh, Shikotei, uh, he basically ported the game himself. Now here's a catch. You need, uh, uh, in order to run the game, you need to pretty much uh, uh, make uh, uh, official ISO of um, your copy uh, because uh, that was the, the it was designed that way to protect himself from a potential copyright problems for the game. Although the game is pretty much abandoned, where like no one is making money off of it, and uh, I don't know who even owns the copyright to this game right now, but whoever does, uh, my honest advice is uh, they should legalize this port in Unity and put it on Steam or somewhere because it's um, it's very good. Now that we got this out of the way, let's show you how to do it. The first thing you need to do is go on the website shikotei.com. It is a very good website which documents uh, a lot about um, CDI games from the list. You can even find uh, the Apprentice documentation, like the whole uh, maps uh, for, for the level. You can like, see how they are, like you can scroll. Very good and very useful for the game. You can also check it for, for the other games like, um, like Lucky Luke. Uh, and uh, it's a bit weird, doesn't load properly, but never mind, you, you get the point. This loads properly, let's show this example. But there's also something called The Apprentice Project. And this explains everything what it is. So, what we're gonna do is you just click to get the latest version. The link for this will be in the description. Now, there's also a tutorial here if you want to read it, but if anything is confusing, don't worry, we're gonna do it now here as well. So, you go to Clone CD and you can see it's a trial program, but you can try for 21 days. And uh, I actually recommend it a lot, this program, because uh, it is uh, very good for accurate um, uh, CD ripping. So we go read image file, and now, now it's going to show it like this. And what we need to do is like, you gotta do it like, data CD and we're gonna go on next and we're gonna create the queue sheet as well and we're just now gonna we're just gonna uh, put it on a desktop and uh, you can just name it uh, how you want yep there we go and now we'll just go on OK. And it is um, pretty much uh, going to going to be doing this. It's taking some time, so we'll be right back when this is finished. When the clone CD uh, has finished creating uh, uh, image files, it's time to drag them all in a directory where Unity port is located and to test the game. We can click on the XE and we're gonna see if we saw the Unity logo and oh yes! The classic CDI jingle. I heard that a lot of times in YouTube poops back uh, when they were popular. Now, we can see how small window it is, but we can fix it with simple 
Alt Enter. The game is not fully on full screen, like, I mean, it is full screen, but it has uh, black bars, and unfortunately, there is nothing that can be done about that, but uh, other than that, the game plays uh, full speed, and uh, the music's there, sound effects are there, so unlike uh, emulators that have a problem with the, this game, uh, since this is like a PC port, it's... Um, it doesn't have any of the problems uh, emulators have, so this is definitely the most definitive way to play The Apprentice on PC. Especially because um, uh, the CDI consoles are getting older and older, and uh, I don't know about the repair parts. Uh, do, they, do they exist? Do they manufacture the necessary parts? Because those things uh, are, are, can get broken, like, even uh, even AVGN showed uh, that he had to buy uh, three of them, because uh, not all worked. So, yeah, there's that. Just let's see how... This game is a bit hard, by the way, just, uh, just informing everyone. It's, uh, it's not uh, sound like... Uh, easy platformer. I can argue that it's even harder than some games like, uh, for example, I don't know, I would rate it ha harder than a typical 2D Mario game. But, that, but I just that's just me, maybe. Maybe those who practiced more. But I think one of the problems has to be like uh, the jumpings and how the platforms are positioned. If you don't time your jumps, jumps correctly, you can uh, fall down. Yeah, this is... Oh yeah, the music is so good in this game, like... Uh, I I can't describe how epic it is, you, you just gotta listen to it. I really, really want to find the American copy of it so that I can compare soundtracks, because this game had the exact same thing like uh, Sonic CD, where um, Europe and... Uh, uh, America got uh, two different uh, soundtracks. Uh, I didn't say Japan because uh, this game wasn't released in Japan. I don't know what CDI even released in Japan now that I think about it. But this one has um, it one has some inspiration from um, Japanese. Like uh, you can see, for example, um, there was like statues of uh, manga girls, and uh, the character maybe does look cartoony, but still. Um, uh, you can see even some Japanese symbols and stuff um, earlier in the level. There were. And we got the key. We're just gonna drop down casually. Yeah, we, we had to go like that because we, we, we couldn't have jumped it uh, straight. Sometimes you can miscalculate and you can think that something. Uh, Oh shit, wait a minute. Ha. Ah shit. Ah shit. You see, this is why, the, why I said the game is hard. Like, dodging, uh, dodging can be a bit problematic, but I won't give up. I will uh, try my best to complete uh, this level. Oh, and this fly, which is like uh, uh, extra hit points, uh, is absolutely necessary for me. There is no way I can attempt that thing without a fly. Oh, there we go. I'm very impressed how this was ported. I really, really wish uh, Shikote can port some other good uh, CDI games, like, like Tetris, for example. Tetris was a very skilled... Uh, shit! Very skilled version of the game. I enjoyed it. The soundtrack is also good in Tetris for CDI. Uh, it's playable with the emulator, but I still wish there was like... Uh, 
like a PC port, because there's something about PC ports which I really enjoy, like, just knowing that you're playing a application which is not emulating, but that it is being programmed to run on the... Alright, yes, I get it. Yeah, ah, there we go. Come on, die, yes. And plus I haven't saved a hit point, that's something I did not expect to happen. I'm just gonna wait for him to stop. Oh yeah, All right, come on. The door has been unlocked. Yep, yeah. wait. Oh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Well, the worst has been over. One thing that I found very, very interesting here is how the spikes don't hurt you. They're actually just part of um, the background. And that's something very weird, because uh, the person seeing this for the first time is definitely going to think that you must be careful when jumping there, but there's absolutely no penalty for um, for touching them. Uh, I don't know why, but that's just how it was um, how it was designed. Ah, uh, there we go. Yes, and uh, we've done it. Stage one complete. Now you can see this is only the first stage, and the game gets much much harder. Believe me on that. So, I'm definitely not gonna be continuing, because uh, I don't want to drag the video too long, and uh, this is a game I would definitely not record before practicing some skills off-camera, but um, it was just mainly done to show how it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, see you guys some other time. Bye-bye.